What's up, comic book fans? What's up, Marvel fans? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we got another cool one for you. Another really tough battle. Another what if scenario. Guys, it's that time again. It's that time to make tough decisions. To make that tough call. Today in our episode, a very, very difficult what if tournament of champions matchup. We bring you Captain America versus Daredevil. In this corner, you have one of the most iconic, famous superheroes of all time. Captain America. Natural born leading, leading quality, skills, whatever you want to throw in there. Captain America possesses it. Fighting abilities, off the charts. Decision making, off the charts. Captain America possesses all of that. He is a tough out. Not just for bad guys, but as you can see, he'll be a tough out for any good guy, superhero as well. Then we come over to our, let's bring this guy, let's bring these guys in a little bit here. Then we come over to Daredevil, the man without fear, built in radar, fighting skills, honed in Hell's Kitchen. He's come up against everybody from the Kingpin to the Punisher. And has lived to tell about it. In the famous um, 158 issue of Daredevil, he fought the, the Deathstalker with the Deadly Touch. Imagine fighting somebody that if they touch you, you die. Well, that's what Daredevil did, and he lived to tell about it. Fighting skills, once again, fighting skills, simply off the chart. IQ, off the chart. Guys, this is not a cakewalk. I think this is probably one of the toughest matchups Marvel what if tournament of champion matchups we've had in a long time here guys you wanted Marvel matchups what if matchups you have Marvel matchups we didn't say we're gonna make it easy on you guys this famous Billy Club there Not a lot of weapons to talk about, but then again, Captain America doesn't possess a lot of weapons outside of his legendary, legendary and iconic shield. Guys, this is not going to be easy. We don't want it to be easy for you guys. We'll be, naturally, we'll be having our uh, comic book Historian, museum historian, uh, Matt Heal, will be doing his uh, analysis and breakdown of these two fantastic superheroes. So we look forward, we always look forward to hearing what our museum comic book historian, Matt Heal, has to say about these fantastic superheroes, their backgrounds, why they're going to win, how they're going to win. In what fashion? I mean, 
Captain America, the leader, the natural leader of the Avengers against Daredevil, pretty much a loner, a go in alone type of a guy that can get the job done. But will that be enough against Captain America? Will Daredevil's built-in radar and off-the-chart fighting skills be enough to pull out a victory, a hard, tough victory against the legendary star-spangled hero, Captain America, who has been injected with the super soldier serum that gives him the strength of maybe 20 men, if not more. Guys, is the shield made out of vibranium? I'm not quite sure. My comic book guys, let's get on that. Is the shield made out of vibranium? I'm curious. I know it's, it's indestructible though. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. This is what we do, guys. Um, we're hanging out. We got some, a few days off. We're enjoying ourselves. Some vacation time. And said, you know what? Let's, let's do some awesome videos. Let's get our What If Tournament of Champions uh, started up today. Let's have some fun with it. Who gets these victories, guys? And I understand, guys, I understand that we are big Captain America fans. He has a huge, Captain America has a huge fan base out there. Daredevil has a huge fan base out there. Guys, what we need you to do today, okay? What we need you to do today is to put the fandom aside and give us some hard cutting edge answers to some questions that we desperately need to move one of these awesome superheroes to the next round of the What If Tournament of Champions. Will it be Daredevil, the man without fear? Or will it be Captain America? Not just the nation's champion, but a global icon as well. Both of these figures are um, from 2006. They were uh, manufactured by Hasbro. Uh, I think Hasbro did a fantastic job on this uh, Marvel Signature Series lines, um, the Spider-Man Origins line. Uh, fantastic job on both of these figures. These figures uh, are around maybe height-wise closer to 10 inches tall, about nine nine and a half inches tall. So they're they're taller than your average Mego figure and more articulate. Gripping hands, swivel arm. Beautiful head sculpts on these figures, and the outfits are absolutely gorgeous on these figures. Um, that was one of the things that drew me to these to these figures. How beautifully made these figures were, and Mego didn't come out with a lot of uh, of the Marvel characters that we wanted to kind of see. They had Captain America. They didn't have uh, in the 1970s. We didn't have a Mego. Um, Daredevil. So Hasbro kind of added a lot of superheroes that we didn't necessarily have in the 8-inch um, form. And did a, a splendid, splendid job in the production of these, these uh, manufacturing of these figures. Who pulls out the wins, guys? Well, we know the winner of the Spider-Man 
and Punisher. We just got a, a update, and I know a lot of our subscribers once uh, has been asking uh, who's winning some of these uh, matchups. So we'll we'll keep the updates coming to you guys. Uh, Spider Man moves on to the second round uh, after beating and defeating uh, the Punisher. It was a close one, but Spider-Man gets the nod and pulls out the victory. So he'll be moving on to the next round where, where he will be waiting um, for the winner of this matchup. So Spider-Man is waiting for the winner of the Captain America and Daredevil battle. What if battle? The man without fear versus a legend. Frozen in time. You make the decision. You make the call. And a tough call it'll be, guys. Guys, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today to try to make this tough decision for this awesome what if battle of Tournament of Champions. Captain America versus Daredevil. Who gets the victory, guys? We'll leave. Those decisions and choices up to you. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.